One of my favorite things to do is actually go up to Chicago, walk around, do a lot of shopping, a lot of eating, check out some new restaurants. And typically, you know, we're going to be walking uh, the vast majority of, of those trips up there. And one thing that always interests me is when we'll be in the street, and there's a whole bunch of people around. And then I end up catching whiffs of someone's cologne. And I have no idea where it's coming from, whose it is. Usually sometimes I can pinpoint exactly what it is, but sometimes it will be a little bit hard to pinpoint exactly what it is when there's a bunch of other smells going on. But it always fascinates me when you could smell some dude's cologne cut through a big crowd like that and who knows how far away he is. So today I kind of wanted to go over 15 beast mode fragrances that you could smell from a mile away. Now not literally a mile away, but kind of my idea and inspiration for this video was like, in the streets of a big city. You want to have a scent that'll cut through the air and people will still be able to smell and actually kind of might make some people a little bit uh, intrigued. They might be trying to figure out who it's coming from and maybe they'll be able to pinpoint it to you. Maybe not, depends on just how far away they are. But I wanted to kind of choose these and hand select these because they do a great job of cutting through the air even when there's a lot of distractions. And by that, I just mean other smells in general. A lot of competition from other colognes and smells from the city and, and restaurants and food and everything else, these are gonna dominate all of that. And I've got some options in here that you maybe wouldn't normally think of, so I'm excited to run through this one. I will provide links to all of these down below to discounters so you can pick them up at prices below retail. Posting deals on my community tab all day long, every single day, and if you wanna get those deals via email, you can use the link down below and sign up for that. We got a lot to run through, so we're just gonna run right through this here. One Million Elixir is what we're gonna start it off with. This one has vanilla, apple, tonka bean. Very, very basically simplistic note breakdown. And by that I mean the apple, vanilla, tonka. That's used all over the place. Nothing new here for sure. But the scent really does a great job of capturing mass appeal, great performance, and wearability for typically the cooler times of the year. And on top of that, it really resonates well with the younger crowd and just guys in general who are into the newer style of men's fragrance. If you want something more traditional, this is not it. But what I will say is it cuts through the air great. It's got very, very hefty projection. You can smell it from a good distance away um, with a decent amount of sprays. You don't need a ton of sprays. The more, the better in this situation, but it doesn't take a whole lot. You would be surprised, but this one works really well. If you have a little bit more money to spend, you could put that towards something like Parfums de Marly Herod. Tobacco, honey, vanilla, tonka bean, all of that stuff, right? Another very sweet one, but with heavy focus on the tobacco accord in here. That's what it's all about. And you guys may know me, I love tobacco fragrances. Some of my favorites. You know, if you're on a bit more of a budget, you could substitute Spice Bomb Extreme in for this one here. That one didn't make the list, it could have. So, you know, that's one way to go. Usually you can get that one for a hundred bucks. This one usually a little over 200, right? So. Big difference in price, but I wanted to feature this one because it doesn't really get enough screen time here on the channel, and I think it's excellent. If you got some money laying around, you wanna treat yourself, maybe a nice early uh, Christmas gift, get you a nice tobacco scent with great performance. It's gonna really, really project a long ways. This is a nice one to go with. Now, if you do want something a little bit more traditional, a little bit more classic, you could go for something like Ego East by Chanel. Not Platinum Ego East, we're talking the original. Now, this one here has sandalwood, it's got uh, some cinnamon, nutmeg, and a little bit of tobacco. Uh, not nearly as much and not the same type of tobacco as in Herod or Spice Bomb Extreme. It's not focused on that note. You do pick up on it, but again, it's mostly the cinnamon, um, sandalwood kind of sweetness. There's some ebony wood in here as well, uh, or maybe not ebony wood, uh, some other type of wood. I can't remember exactly what it was, um, but this smells incredible. Again, this is going to be a little bit more classic, a little bit more old school smelling, but it is a powerhouse, potent fragrance. In fact, me just spraying it up in the air, I'm gonna be smelling on this one for a while. Great projection, great longevity, and the warm spices and woods really allow this one to cut through the air and go a long way. So next up we have Loam Ideal L'Intense by Guerlain. 
So this is one of the few flankers that you can get with some sort of regularity. It's pretty much always in stock on discounters for the most part and at decent prices as well. It's pretty much this one and the original EDT, the only two that you can consistently get. The EDP and Cool and Extreme, always a little bit more tricky. So that's kind of why I wanted to lean towards this one here. Not just for that, but also because it does really cut through the air. It projects a long way and I mean, you can see this one coming. It's got smoke, so yeah, literally smoke. Uh, there's some sort of spicy pepper note in here. There's, of course, almond. There's some vanilla, some leather. Uh, it's basically that DNA, but much more smoky, if you could imagine, and really amped up. It's just a powerhouse scent. Very, very strong, very potent, very attention-grabbing, head-turning. This is one where when you walk by, people are just gonna be inclined to kind of look and see what that is because the smell kind of hits you like a brick wall. Very, very strong, great stuff to have. If you want something cheap and a little bit more traditional, maybe the Chanel is out of your price point, you could go for something like this. Bentley for Men Intense, rum, incense, leather, all of that good stuff. Uh, like I always have to give uh, a warning for this one, uh, just be careful with it, basically. It's all I'm gonna get into. You can find plenty of information online. So do your due diligence before you blind buy this. Luckily for us, it's only $30, $35 on discounters. You're not gonna be out of house and home if you blind buy this and it ends up sucking. Throw it away, give it away, swap it, sell it for 20 bucks and make some of your money back if people would even wanna pay that when they could just buy a new one for an extra 10, who really knows? But the point is, if you know what you're into, this can pay off big time, but if you don't, you might just get burned on it. But it's very, very masculine, very traditional. It's boozy, smoky, woody, leathery. This is a man scent. Nothing anywhere close to what's being put out these days. Just a little warning for you. But for the price, you cannot go wrong with this one. Sticking with something that's a little bit more fair price, but goes in the opposite direction, being that's gonna be appealing towards more so the younger crowd out there. We have Ferragamo Womo Signature. So this one has coffee, it's got leather, tonka bean, basically builds on that original DNA with some coffee and leather, making it a little bit more masculine, making it a little bit more refined, and a little bit more, I guess, well put together, some people may say. Don't get me wrong, I love the original Womo, and choosing between one of the two, like if I had to get rid of one, would be incredibly hard, but I do really like how this flanker goes with the addition of those two notes, kind of giving it just a little bit more substance and kind of supplementing the sweetness a little bit. I think it's a really well done, well thought out flanker that's worth having around for the price, usually around $50. Uh, this one has great performance, great projection, and cuts through the air really well. Next up, we do have a niche scent again. However, this one is pretty much designer priced. Some of the designers in here are gonna cost more than this one does, and we're talking discounted prices. So let that sink in. Uh, this is Mansara Intense Cedrat Boise. It doesn't get much better than this, guys, I'm telling you. If you are a fan of Cedrat Boise, you gotta try this one out. Even though some are gonna argue redundancy, personally, I don't really think as much as you may think. I mean, this one is richer, it's heavier, and it's stronger, as if the original wasn't strong enough, at least on my skin. If you are having issues with the performance of this one, or the original, that's another reason to check this one out, given that it's a full parfum, it just came out, there's not gonna be any sort of reformulation worries or anything like that, so you're pretty much almost guaranteed good performance out of this one so long as your skin is not dry in the winter time. Make sure you moisturize if you have issues with that. It's gonna help you go a long way. But I seriously recommend you checking this one out. For about $100 on discounters, you just can't go wrong. I mean, this is very wearable, versatile, mass pleaser, and a projection and longevity beast. All right, back in the mature direction a little bit with Pasha de Cartier Parfum. It's got liqueur, balsam fir, uh, sandalwood to a very heavy extent, a little bit of tonka, a little bit of benzoin in here. Um, this is very, very upscale, classy, sophisticated, and just ultimately very rich smelling, if I had to describe it. This smells like money. This smells like a guy who's gonna go close a multi-million dollar real estate deal or something like that. I mean, it just has such a well put together, well executed DNA from opening to dry down. And what I like so much about this is it is a boozy fragrance, but again, with that 
masculine and refined smell. A lot of times, if you're not careful, and especially on the designer side, you start getting into some boozy scents. Maybe they go a little bit youthful. Maybe they go a little bit playful, right? And you just don't always want that. Sometimes you want one that you could wear in more dressed up situations, and that's where this one comes into play. And you could also go with something like Le Mal Le Parfum, which I think is one of the best flankers to come out of the Le Mal line. This and Ultra Male, two of the best that you can put your money into, in my opinion. If I had to choose a third, probably Le Mal on board. And of course, we're talking in production flankers that you can actually buy right now. Uh, those three are all amazing. On board, more spring and summer. Ultra Male could have been in this list, absolutely. Uh, but I wanted to feature this one as it doesn't get quite as much love in general on the channel and probably in, in general in the community compared to Ultra Male. And I do think that this one has the potential to go really far. Now, this one has lavender, it's got iris, it has cardamom, it's got vanilla, uh, some pepper in here as well, but it really the spiciness is coming from the cardamom, so it's sweet, uh, kind of oriental smelling, very delicious, kind of gourmand leaning, vanillic sweetness, a little bit of a freshness from the lavender. It combines uh, the original Lamal with the sweetness of Ultra Male, and then its own twist with the spicy warm cardamom. Delicious stuff that has great projection, great longevity. People are going to be able to smell this on you with no problem. Okay, up next, my little mini bottle of Invictus Intense. I mean, it's not really that small. It's 50 ml, but it just looks tiny when you're compared to looking at the 100 ml bottles of Invictus. But it's kind of funny. It's just a little fun-sized bottle. Pretty cool. I do believe, generally, this is the only size you can really get on discounters. Uh, there's been a couple times where the 100 ml will come into stock, and I've posted about that on my community tab, and you guys scoop that up pretty quick. Uh, but this is kind of just what it's boiling down to, because I do believe it's officially a discontinued scent, although, again, you can still buy it up. And personally, if you like Invictus, I don't see any reason why you wouldn't pick this one up if you haven't already. Now this one has whiskey, it's got amber, it's got amber gris, it has sea salt, a little bit of patchouli in here. Basically, just long story short, it's boozy Invictus. That's pretty much it, right? The whiskey note is really, really pleasant. Not too overboard, not too crazy, but it is there. You still get that fresh Invictus DNA, but it's just a nice twist on that. And one of the better ones, I would say. I really like it a lot. And I would encourage you to check this one out if you want a strong projecting Invictus, kind of more leaning towards the fall and winter time. Uh, I couldn't make this video without putting this one in here. Sauvage Elixir, I mean, come on. It's gotta be, right? I mean, yeah, it's expensive. There's no denying that. I mean, even on discounters for this bottle size, which I can never remember, and it's hard to read, 60 ml still usually goes for 130 to $140. Sometimes you get lucky, and you can find it right in the middle for 135 if the 130 is sold out, but usually just, yeah, within that price point. Retail is a little bit more than that, so you are saving money, but it's still not cheap. And again, we're talking 60 ml bottle. I don't want to lead you guys in the wrong direction and think, oh, that's not that bad. Regular Sauvage retails and, and goes for, you know, $110, $120 even on discounters. Right, but that's 100 mil, 60 ml. I mean, this is expensive. This does actually come in a 100 mil bottle now. I don't know what that is going to go for on discounters, but it's still not going to be cheap. That being said, it is an investment, but it's a worthwhile investment if you want the most refined, masculine, mature smelling Sauvage that you can possibly get, and really a beast mode scent all the way around. This stuff is ridiculous. Now, you could also go for Latafa Assad, and I was really wanting to put that in here, but it's sold out everywhere. Like, that usually comes in stock for $22, $25 on Fragrance Buy. They don't have any. I could have put it in here, so here's me saying, if you can get that one, get it, but because you can still buy this, I'm just putting this in instead, but Latafa Assad will do the same exact thing on a fraction of the price. One of my favorite summer fragrances up next, Rasasi Havas, plum, bergamot, watery notes, and ambergris. It's, you can't even see the bottle when I do this. It's so just clear, but I can't show my face through it because it looks ridiculously stupid, so there you go. I really like the bottle. Pretty simplistic. Nice detailing, though. Uh, but, you know, just, I don't know, simple. What I like even more, though, is the scent. I mean, Invictus Aqua DNA Originator, 2015. Invictus Aqua, 
2016, and then 18, and then they discontinued both of those. This is the last one standing. Of course, there are other Invictus Aqua smelling scents out there, like there's Mont Blanc Legend Spirit and so on. That one's pretty affordable, but none really take the cake. This is the strongest, it's the highest quality, it's just the best. Now, this is going to be more so summer oriented. However, it would work great in winter time. It'll still project with pretty good power, although in winter do go more if you plan on it, more sprays. In summertime though, I mean, if you're walking down the street and you got a few sprays on of this, the sun's out, it's warm. I mean, holy crap, it's going to be game over. Okay, let's just go with another Rasasi while we're here. This one, however, is a clone. This is La Yucawam. You're probably pretty familiar with this at this point. Tom Ford Tuscan Leather for a fraction of the price. Now, it's not cheap, I will say. Uh, it is compared to the Tom Ford, but compared to other clones, you're still paying like 50, maybe $60 for this, which, you know, not cheap. However, when the Tom Ford is going for, I don't know, what is it, $200 for 50 mil on discounters, and this is 75 mil for 50, 60, this is the clear winner still in terms of price point, and the quality is impressive. Is it as high quality as the Tom Ford? No, not quite. Wouldn't expect it to be, but it's more than sufficient for the price. And yeah, I mean, it's got leather. It's got that unique raspberry accord mixing with that. It's what it's all about. It's Tuscan leather, no doubt about it. It's about as close as you can get uh, in terms of clones out there. There's another really good one that I'm going to be covering here soon that's actually cheaper than this. Although this was the better fit for this video because this does have superior projection longevity and it really pierces through the air big time. And last up, Armani Code Profumo. I just had to do it. I had to. I mean, yeah, I don't know. I love it. It's grown on me so, so much. And it reminds me just a tiny bit of that cola root beer bubbly fizziness of <laughs> Roja Parfums Enigma. I was just smelling that or Creation E, whichever you prefer. I was just smelling that before shooting this video. And then when I go over here and smell this, there are similarities. Now, I just got to go on, on record here and say, not a clone of Creation E or vice versa. Okay. Just going on record. It's not, but that opening and just that, that kind of cola root beer smell, they do share that accord, that similarity a little bit, and it's really, really cool and delicious. And for that record, Enigma could have been in here too. I didn't want to go too hop, top heavy with the niche though, so we'll finish it off with the designer. This one you can get on discounters pretty easily. It's not cheap either, but still great investment, great performer, great compliment getter, and just a great scent all the way around. Oh, I messed up. That was not the last one. This is, <laughs> this was laying down flat and it kind of blended in. I couldn't see it. Last fragrance, number 15, Philip Pline, No Limits, possibly. Yeah, even the camera doesn't like this bottle. I know a lot of you guys don't really care for this bottle. I'll be the first to admit, it doesn't get me too happy and excited either, but the scent makes this one worth it 10 times over. It's got dark chocolate, it's got leather, it's got a bunch of other sweet, heavy notes, tonka bean vanilla, your run of the mill sweetness. Great atomizer on this as well. I mean, it is impressive. Done by the master himself, Alberto Marias. He works on all of the Philip Pline. He did this, he did uh, the No Limit Super Fresh. He did the Skull, which is ridiculously expensive, but cool, I do have that one. Paid like $250 for that, which is ridiculous. The point is, this is a very strong, potent projector, great longevity, surprisingly good people pleaser. It's one of those ones where it kind of just gets reactions because it is different, but ultimately it's a really, really nice one. And honestly, it was a perfect fit for this video. Okay, that's it, we're done. Uh, 15 fragrances that people can smell from a mile away. Not literally, although pretty close. I mean, these have projection, these cut through the air. If you live in a big city, you do a lot of walking, you wanna stand out, you want people to smell you in the streets, go for any of these 15. You've got plenty to choose from here. There's literally a little bit of everything for everybody. We're talking different profiles, different scents, different brands, clones, not clones, price points, cheap, expensive, everything. So you'll find something you'll like. And so links will be down below to these, to discounters, deals on the community tab. That's gonna do it for me. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy. We'll see you tomorrow with another one. Take care.